Hello, Oklahoma City. I'm Tony. I am the builder of Po Boy's House. This is a building designed by Mr. Po Boy himself. As you see, the building is designed to lean. All the windows are designed to look as though the building is getting ready to topple over. The red door is kind of a built-in design. Eventually, that door will open and close automatically on its own. That is not the actual front door, as most people believe it is. It is actually just a novelty. The staircases and the front porch area will also be leaning, and they'll have sitting areas so as you will have an area to sit, and everybody will be leaning in it. There's also a berm that is going to be built here, landscape, and the trees also will be leaning as well as with the building. Follow me here and I will show you one of the features, the main features of the restaurant is this waterfall. It is designed as, if we step back and look at that, it is designed to protrude through the roof line, come down to this catch basin, run down, and of course once it's completed it will have various palm trees, LED lighting, so at nighttime it'll give you a really nice visual. You'll be able to sit out on the patio area to be able to watch one of the water features of one of four different water features of the building. We can go inside and I'll give you a glimpse of what the interior is going to look like. This will be the entry. It will have a 3D dolphin floor effect. As you see the water that is coming off of the building, it will give you the impression that there is water flowing up underneath the floor as with the 3D dolphin effect. That's kind of a hidden secret once we complete it. Interior further, this is one of the main dining rooms. It also will have a cloud scene uh, ceiling to give you the effect that you're outdoors with all the clouds. If you've been to Vegas, you've been to Bellagio's, that will have a similar effect on the ceiling itself. This, of course, as again, will be the main dining room. All of the construction is steady going on. Uh, we're doing the mechanical work now. They're installing all the heat and air systems. This, of course, will be the wait staff area for all of your condiments and sodas and water. This will be an area for them to take care of the customers as they are seated. This will of course will be the kitchen area. You, you, you'll have as you see they're getting ready to install the vent hood system. Uh, that's of course the back door. You'll have three compartment sinks. You'll have uh, prep tables, refrigerator and freezer in this kitchen area. We will proceed down this hallway and of course you will have the women's and men's restroom here down the hall. This of course if you can see as the effect of everything is leaning, all the walls are out of shape because he obviously doesn't have enough money to take care of these problems is also another feature. As you walk into the bar side of the restaurant it will feature a double cathedral ceiling. On the bar wall, instead of having your typical glass mirror, uh, alcoholic beverages on display, you will have a 10 by 20 foot water wall as it runs down the wall and will anchor with two uh, wine racks on either side of it. That's obviously the patio door that will lead you out onto the patio. One of the features of sitting at this table, I speak to everyone, you will have the look of the water feature coming off the wall out of the ceiling here, and you'll also have another water feature that will be out on the patio side. So these are one and two and three or four water features on the building itself. And again, another water wall that's going to be constructed here uh, for the viewing quote unquote enjoyment, enjoyment of the people that are here eating. So again, we're trying to make it as being interactive as possible so that people can come in and enjoy. We want this to be a place that people can come in and not only enjoy eating, but see all of the things that we have put together for the you know, visual enjoyment of the people, not only just 
This will also be a seafood restaurant. Uh, we'll feature things like grilled salmon, grilled halibut, uh, seven different types of seafood. We'll have uh, po' boy sandwiches, that's one of our features. Uh, we'll have at least 16 different po' boy sandwiches. We're gonna have gumbo, real gumbo. Uh, we have a cook coming from New Orleans to make it authentic. Uh, and again, we're gonna also specialize, for those who don't eat seafood, we're gonna have you know typical chicken, burger, and a steak. So we'll be able to offer that to individuals who don't eat seafood or who are allergic to those seafood items. And so that's it.